toying with Mother Nature isn't as scary as it sounds, according to various meteorologists and experts on cloud seeding. The term refers to a process of weather manipulation in which silver iodide is burned and injected into snow clouds, similar to a propane burner, to stimulate or increase snowfall, according to the St. Vrain and Left Hand Water Conservancy District. So what we're doing with, with um, cloud seeding is we're putting silver iodide in, and silver iodide, depending on the temperature, but around uh, minus two, minus four degrees Celsius, has a very similar strict structure as an ice crystal. So what we're doing is we're putting the silver iodide in, and we are freezing these, these liquid droplets, and we are generating snow. And then the snow sticks together, either with the supercool liquid or with other ice crystals, and it's then heavy enough to fall down. So the idea of cloud seeding is really attacking the specific type of clouds um, to make it more efficient and produce um, precipitation or snowfall. Silver iodide is much different than silver, closer in fact to salt, and is not dangerous to the environment in such small amounts used in cloud seeding, according to studies done by the Colorado Water Conservation Board. So silver iodide uh, is in the application of cloud seeding, it's shown to have no negative environmental impacts. Really concentrated applications of large quantities, you, you can have a negative impact. Um, it can be damaging. Um, it can be, you know, not good for human health. But silver iodide in cloud seeding, for, for starters, you're using a fairly small amount, and it's being spread over a really, really large area. So the amount of silver iodide that's present um, is undetectable once it enters the environment. Organizations enhance snowfall in various states in the country, including Colorado. There are seven active programs in the state, which all involve ground-based generators, including a new one in Boulder County, just outside of Longmont. There are two generators for this program. North American weather consultants, meteorologist, and cloud seeding program manager Cole Osborne operates the generators and works on forecasting the wind speed, wind direction, and temperature, and makes sure all these conditions are in the right range to operate. Silver iodide is most effective at changing the liquid water in a cloud to ice when the temperatures um, at cloud base are around minus five degrees Celsius, and when cloud tops are um, around minus 20 degrees Celsius. And then also looking if there's you know liquid water available. If it fits um, and it looks good, then we'll turn the generators on, which these ones are remotely operated. Um, we have a program on our computer. Um, I also have it on my phone that I can just log into the generator, um, tell it to start, and then it just turns on. Um, and then when it no longer looks good or the storm's ending, I can um, log back into it and turn it off. He says water can stay in a liquid form well below freezing, all the way to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit in a clean environment with no pollution before it turns to ice. Silver, silver iodide has a um, chemical structure very similar to, to ice. So once it gets in the cloud, it changes the, the water droplets that wouldn't naturally precipitate out into ice. The goal of the majority of the weather altering programs are to help produce more snow in mountain ski areas or to reduce drought in places like the Western Slope. The new program, run by the St. Vrain and Left Hand Water Conservancy District out of Boulder County, is the only one in Colorado with a different goal, to increase snowpack to ensure more runoff in eastern Colorado rivers. We decided to start a program to help increase our native water supplies on the East Slope. A lot of the water that we use on the east, in eastern Colorado on the Front Range actually might have originated on the West Slope. And so what we are trying to do with our program is build some resiliency in our local supplies so that we, as drought impacts, you know, a lot of the Colorado River Basin, that we have more local supplies to rely on, even if it's just a little bit. The St. Vrain and Left Hand Creek Watershed Drainage Basin is located above Longmont in the foothills, which flows into the South Platte River, which then feeds into the Eastern Plains. And this one's different because it's on the eastern side of the Continental Divide, where everything previously um, for the past 40, you know, 50 years has been on the western side of the divide. 
The Boulder County program conducts cloud seeding about 10 to 15 times per season, depending on when conditions are ripe. When we see a winter storm coming through with the right trajectory and the right, right conditions, temperature conditions and wind conditions and everything, we'll turn on our ground-based generators and then we rely on upslope winds to carry our seeding agent up into the cloud deck and disperse it. And then that's where that interaction between the supercooled liquid water and um, the silver iodide occurs. The generators for this program run from November through April 15th each year, according to the North American Weather Consultants. We can't create snow out of thin air, so we have to have a winter cloud to start with. We have to have a winter storm system, and it has to have the right wind direction, so it has to be blowing um, for the way our generators are set up. Um, it has to be blowing from the east to the west. So, you know, a lot of those upslope storms, that's really what we're targeting. And then the, the temperature range has to be within certain bounds so that it's not so that we know that it's actually going to produce snow, but also that so it's not so cold that the seeding won't really have any impact. This program is in its third season, having started in the fall of 2022. Researchers say they do not have enough data to know if it's working yet, but they believe it is increasing the basin's water supply. Osborne says they're looking into adding a third generator next season. In the last three years, we've kind of picked up on a little bit of a signal showing somewhere around, you know, in, in the range of a two to percent um, increase in snowpack um, over the, the, the target area.